is your annotate uh, plan drawing model so basically annotation means uh, you are going to get the values um, uh, whatever the elements which are defined so let us quickly make uh, create our plan profile drawings so when i'm going to click over this uh, i'm going to get get a window in which um, i'm going to explain you in a very very simple means like uh, uh, you need to just simply confirm the scaling so the, if you can see the left hand side is uh, the settings for your plan and the right hand side settings are here for your profile so within this there if you can find there are three scales one is to 2000 here and one is to one here one is to 2000 so the governing scale which is to your drawing seed is this the bottom one so this is your basically your uh, drawing scale and these three scales are basically first is your design then is your sheet scale then is your drawing scale so you, you need to keep design and drawing scale same and you need to keep your sheet scale as one is to one always which will always be one is to one only so here in my case i'm having okay one is to 2000 one is to 2000 sometimes it uh, it may be there might be possibility that your this scale will not be matching with this governing scale the bottom one so one two three so first and third should be same second should always be one is to one because it's a sheet size it's a sheet scale which is which should be one is to one only so same in the case with your plan and the same in the profile what i basically annotation group so right now i'm having flexibility to change annotation group but when you are going to create your uh degen library files your uh, drawing seed basically drawing seed was your when when we have selected a1 plan profile profile a2 plan profile profile these are my drawing seeds and these are nothing but your only uh, degen library files in which um, scaling annotation group everything is defined so let us select over here uh, one annotation group by default you are going to get uh, two annotation groups within the your within your uh, plan model so let us select plan grid and within for profile so let me quickly explain by default you are going to get three four profile annotations so if you select profile grid so simple uh, profile will be available without any profile bands but if you need to see uh, profile bands also in which you are going to get like proposed level existing level horizontal schema vertical schema so for that you need to select uh, this frame profile um, we have selected like uh, for annotation groups, uh, by default annotation group for plan groups, we have had two annotation group, plan grid and annotations. And for the profile, we have three, four annotations. One is for like subsurface frame profile, another is profile grid and uh, frame profile and others as well. So if you can see these names, like uh, these we have created, me and Roshan, um, under testing and uh, you can even, any user can create his own uh annotation group as per requirement so let us select uh, this and proceed so when i'm done with my uh, selection of uh, annotation group of in the plan as well as in the profile so now i'm i'm very sure that all my settings are okay and uh, okay i can move on so i just need to simply click on the okay button and if you can see there's a progress bar and the bottom right corner so uh, If you can carry forward, I will share the link again. Okay. Um, 
within this uh, when i'm here and uh, the my drawing production task is taking a pause for a while because it is asking me to locate my since i have applied a super elevation since i have applied a super elevation on my uh, this uh, this my corridor so i need to define like it's asking me remove aliases for definition so what is my super elevation point like for left we i have c l e o p l and for right I have center line and end of edge, edge of payment right so after i select these two so whatever like if you are going to define even the curve widening or uh, uh, there may be multiple super elevation points suppose you are going to have your four lane divided carriageway in which uh, all the, you are going to rotate four points instead of two points you are going to rotate the four points so for uh, that purpose also you are going to get a list uh, currently it's, it's twice in number and for that you will be getting four in numbers you need to select those points and simply press ok so as soon as you are going to uh, give this uh, ok command the drawing production task will continue itself and within a couple I, I will not say a couple of minutes since I have just uh, drawn only the four sheets so it will within seconds it's going to produce a drawing for me and it's completely automatic and any change, as, as we repeated before, any change you will be making in your uh, main design, whether it be your horizontal, whether it may be your vertical, or even if you are changing your typical cross section, so that is also going to be reflected in this. So if you can see, this is my uh, last sheet of my plan and profile drawing. So upper part is your plan, which is uh, adjusted, and the below is your profile and you are going to have your profile bands as well in which all those values so this is proposed level and you are going to get a proposed level along with the, your active profile which is your uh, profile for your center line and then you are going to have existing level and then horizontal schema as well as your if i zoom in and show you so you are going to get these values so you can it's not that you are you sh you have to stick to these values it's up to you completely it can be customized and if you can see the superlation values as well right over here with these lines and let us have a look so here i'm i'm going to get my uh, sheet as well as drawing model so the icons which are white in color these are ready to print or export my uh, uh, sheets in pdf or to the printer directly and the gray icons are my uh, drawing these are my drawing sheets so any change which I want to make, I should make in this gray, like uh, I need to change annotations or something. So I, 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 I need to work in this. And since your default model is completely linked to this gray sheet, so th this is your design. Design is linked to your drawing and drawing is linked to your final sheet. So if any change you are going to make in default, like uh, if I click over the default, so you are going to get back your this. Uh, uh, viewport number one in which your horizontal alignment is there and if i switch back again to this any of the sheets if you see this so i change suppose um, uh, you don't want certain things in the display of the your curve details you can even remove them or even add them so if you can, if you are going to see this uh, border, so this border was defined in my uh, like uh, seed 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 file, which is your DGN library file. So drawing seed, which you are which we selected while creating our plan as well as profile. So we have selected a drawing seed right over there. So this uh, uh, your template or the outer border plan and profile border can be pasted once or attached as a reference so once you do that it will be reflected in all of your sheet so you will not be needing to add in separately in one by one in each sheet so it's a one-time task one time you do this and you are going to be get reflected so this was all about your plan and profile and in the same manner uh, you are going to cut your uh, cross sections as well so before starting our cross sections uh, we need to switch on our 3D view first. 
and if you imagine uh, slicing your cross sections um, of your uh, complete highway corridor like a loaf of bread with a knife at uh, separate intervals which you may want so let us take uh, this view and uh, within the name boundary itself i'm going to select place name boundary and uh, go to the civil cross sections and here also if i if you can see this asking me to for, for the drawing seats so by default there are three drawing seats available so generally um, uh, i select like a1 access frame annotations i will go with the default settings which is uh, detail scale one is 200 left and right offset one is two sorry it's 35 meters on left and 35 meters right and just you need to simply click your center line alignment and again with my mouse cursor there is a pointer and it is cutting it is going to be your complete section in different intervals so here interval was 20 meters so it is cutting at each 20 meters uh, it is going to draw a line like this and once you confirm this um, you are going to get these slices in your 3d view as well so as soon as i uh, left click you can see these uh, slices which is cutting your uh, complete corridor and it's not that uh, you need to go along with the same again like in plan and profile name boundaries we have the flexibility to change our um, to change our uh, boundaries of my rectangle so here also if you do not want to get like a left and right offset at 35 meters simply take element selection and click click on any of the uh, slice and you are again going to get these four points in the corner using them you can alter their shapes suppose I want at this particular point I need uh, this type of rectangle and this much view should be visible in my sheet only so now I'm done with my cross section sheet also and uh, within the name boundaries dialog box So repeating the process again. So this is your create drawing dialog box for your cross section sheets as well. So this is uh, as we have seen in our pan and profile uh, create drawing dialog box. We need to check our scale. So here the drawing as well as design scale are matching which is 1 is 200 it's okay and the sheet scale is 1 is to 1 which is also okay and we can even select uh, or change at this particular point my annotation group even 